Okay, uh, thank you, Hirani. And first of all, I would like to thank the Rotary Club of Excellence and Rotary Club of University alumni and all the Interact Clubs for having me for this session. So uh, today I will be talking about uh, Malia Nangi and all the Interactors and the Rotary Club. Today I will be talking about if you if you have done A levels in maths in the maths stream or if you are if you are going to do A levels in 2022 or 21. In the math stream, what are the future opportunities and what are the careers, what are the paths you can select? And I will be mainly discussing about those things. And I got some questions uh, prior to the session from uh, from Salim. So here he just highlighted me some of the questions like already you have asked from the organizers uh, during my 30, ses 30 minutes session. And I will be addressing to those questions also. First of, uh, first of all, Nangi Mali, uh, I would like to talk about what is math and what is the math stream. In math stream is can be known as one of the most competitive stream in the A-levels because if you take a one batch, normally 80,000 people, 80,000 students around the country is writing A-levels in maths. Maths in case is the physical science stream, but only when I'm talking about engineering, I'm talking about the engineering faculty of Morotu, Peradani, Jayavartanapura, and Rukuna. The maximum capacity to enter the engineering faculty is about 2,000 students. So if 80,000 students are writing the exam, only 2,000 2, students get the chance to, to get into an engineering faculty. I'm not talking about, I'm not, I'm not specialized in the Morocco engineering faculty. I'm just talking about any engineering faculty, only 2,000 students gets, uh, get the chance. So if we take 40 students, only one student gets the chance to get into the engineering faculty. So that means, and that gives you a slight idea how competitive is the math stream and the physical science stream. So to be honest, Mali, you all the guys who guys and girls who are present in this webinar are really lucky because when we were doing our A levels, we didn't have such things, such programs, such webinars or anything. So when when I I did A levels in 2015, when I was doing A levels, when I was doing A levels, we only knew about when we do maths we can either do engineering or we can do physical science, right? We are calling it generally physical, okay? So when I was doing A-level, I only knew that we can do engineering, either engineering or physical. But when, when I got to the university, I got to know and when, when, when we are like studying about the other things, other courses, I got to know if you are a student who have done or who, are, who will be doing A-levels in maths, the, you have various number of degrees you can, below in state universities and they are a, a, like uh, I, I can't just uh, tell a number and they, it is, uh, you, you, there are numerous ways and paths that you can follow in order to make your future successful. I'll start from engineering because as a math student every most of the students are willing to do engineering because that 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 ranks the top. When we talk about engineering there are mainly four engineering faculties in the state universities, like Morotua has the best engineering faculty and it goes then Peradeni, Ruhuna and Chapura. And like news says that Sabaragamu will start in an, another engineering faculty. So when I'm talking about students from Colombo, you need to get a Z score around two to get into the Morotua engineering faculty. And if, if your Z score is above 1.9, you can get to one of the other engineering faculties. I'm just, uh, I'm not ta talking about the ESH go for other districts and every district. I just want to give you a slight idea about the ESH go because the high, if, if, if you're doing maths, the students with the highest ESH go will get the chance to get to go to the engineering faculty. So you can just ask from your seniors from the district. I hear them matter and known a fair than engineering faculty, matter and known the engineering faculty. So so my ESH go is a monogamy when known the killer. You can just ask from the seniors from your respective districts. Okay, like as I said, when it comes to engineering, Mali. We know when I was when I was schooling, I knew about civil engineering because when, when we pass a construction site, I can just see the engineers wearing hat and they're working. So I know about civil engineering. I knew about electronic engineers. I knew about computer science and software engineers. And then I knew about electrical engineers in the electri electricity board. And then talking about I knew about mechanical engineers, like who 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 comes under the automobile engineering. But trust me, when I got to the university. I knew that there are engineers called chemical engineers. There are engineers called polymer engineers. There are engineers called, uh, what do you call, uh, material engineers. And there are engineers called process engineers. So when it comes to engineering, there are so many branches. There are so many branches. 
first i'll talk about the the path a student from math can just select and just go and then i'll talk about how to set a target and how to work and how to execute how to have a plan and how to execute the plan in order to achieve your target okay so much when it comes to engineering there are uh, various categories start from electronics computer science and then we have mechanical electrical civil we have chemical and when it comes to see it we have marine engineering when it comes to plane we have aeronautical engineering and we have aircraft engineering there are so many there are so many paths for engineering in so like i got a question like what is the aeronautical engineering i just give you a small small example like aeronautical engineering is mainly how the aerodynamics part like the parts of the plane uh, how a plane runs and those those are those, those things come under aeronautical engineering when it comes to aircraft engineering aircraft engineering means the designing of the airplane like you have to design it you have to think about the physics part you have to think about the aerodynamics and you have and when it comes to designing the part it comes and the aircraft engineering and there's another another thing called aircraft maintenance and that is the most frequent engineering engineering field related to airplanes in sri lanka because in sri lanka we don't make planes we only maintain planes so aircraft maintenance means it comes like maintaining the planes like we have to check the engines and so so called things and then mali like when engineering i know that you know about electronic engineering you know about computer science engineering so the, 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 any math students who get the high sets go can do engineering in a state university and it it, it ranks the top and you, you can just pass out as engineer as i said when i was doing a levels i only knew that engineering when when i do math i can do either engineering or i can do either physics so i talked about engineering i talked about engineering so you will be passing out as an engineer like you can then you can you have you you have a specialization you have a mecha, you, you you either can be a mechanical engineer electronic engineer computer science engineer so under engineering there are so many sub branch so i think you all are clear about what is engineering and what are the types of engineering and if there's any question you can ask it during the question um, question and answer session and then i'll move to physical then i'll move to physical science like We we say it as physical, but to be honest, physical when you go to the physical faculties like in the science faculties of the university is mainly like Colombo, Jawaharlalpur, and Pera Deni has a physical science faculty, and like um, there are so many physical science and science faculties around the country in the state university. There are mainly three fields one. Like it comes under chemistry, physics, and maths, which means the three subjects you do, which means the uh, three subjects you do. when it when you go to the physical science section or the science faculty of a university you can specialize in physics you can specialize in physics like when i talk about nuclear physics then you uh, quantum physics and there are so many things so you can specialize in physics or you can specialize in maths when it when it comes to specialize in maths i think you all, you all you all are aware about maths, maths olympiad competitions like we say if a guy is really talented in maths that guy should go to the physical science faculty or the science faculty and do math special not not he, he like that is the best faculty which suits him not not going to the engineering faculty and even in the recent years i have seen so many brothers and sisters who have the izet score which is enough to go to engineering faculty but they they go to the science faculty because they are willing to do a special a special degree in mathematics like we call it higher mathematics so when it comes to the physical science section only and then you can do either chemistry special you can go from that side and you can go you can do a math special so that you can enhance your mathematical knowledge and or you or either you can do a physics special which comes like nuclear physics and nuclear physics and then quantum physics so called things and even in science faculties trust me they are computer science side like they are being called data science big data i think you 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 all are aware about the terms you can just follow degrees and under some degrees there are paths which cover data science and big data which comes under the it field so that is the main thing when your main areas you can cover when you get in, when you go to do physical or, or, or you, when you get selected to a science faculty so i think now i talked about mainly only two fields or two paths you can just follow one is the engineering faculty or doing engineering and other one is going to physical science faculty so under physical science faculty there are main three qualifications as maths and physics and special so i think you are clear i think you are clear about that and then as i said i only knew when i was doing a levels i only knew about doing physical or doing engineering after 
when when my when when I get my results from my A levels. But now, trust me, there are uh, there are a hell lot of degrees and hell lot of paths you can follow when you when you have done maths. But I didn't know when I was doing A levels. For example, there's a nice field in uh, the Morudu University called QS. We call it QS. QS means quantity survey. Quantity survey means like I'll give you example. Imagine that you are building a house. Imagine you are building a house. So I get an architecture, and the architecture is the one who draw the plan. Like he, he, and the architecture, and and plus the draftsman, they they draw a plan. They draw the design of the house, and then comes a civil engineer. A civil engineer comes and and he observes the land, and he and he he thinks about the structural part. The structural part means like if 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 the if the house is like for example, if there's two 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 floors in the house, the basement should be this. Depth. The the basement should be this deep, and and the civil engineer comes and he analyzes about the structural part of a house. So I talked about designing a designing a plan in the house, which is done by the architect or a draftsman, and then the civil engineer one. The civil engineer is responsible about the structural part of the house. And when when it comes to quantity survey, we call him as a quantity server. What a quantity server does is he comes and he he gives. A rough count, not a rough count. It's it's like a, a approximate count. He gives to build a house or to build this wall. You need this amount of material. You need this amount of cement. You need this amount of uh, like bricks. You need this amount of sand, and you need this amount of uh, steel. And he's the one who gives the approximate amount about the materials you need to build the house. So those three. The quantity server, civil engineer, and the architect are bound together in order to fulfill or in order to complete uh, any kind of construction. So you can do quantity survey. Even a quantity server, well, trust me, a quantity server get an equivalent salary as a civil engineer, especially in countries like countries in the Middle East, in and even in a country like Sri Lanka. So a civil engineer gets a starting salary around ninety thousand. I'm talking about the basic, basic means with, uh, excluding the OT and the other allowances. A basic of ninety thousand, and even a quantity server get a basic around eighty five to ninety thousand, and that that is the, we call it the QS field quantity survey. So now you now you know a new field you can go when you do maths is rather than engineering or physical you know about quantity survey. And then I'll talk about the most uh, interested field and the like the future of the world the IT field. When it comes to IT, like don't. Think that to be a software engineer, to be a computer science engineer, you have to go to the engineering faculty. There's no, there's nothing like that. You, if if you want to be a computer science engineer, if you want to be a software engineer, you can go to the IT faculty of Morocco University. You can go to the IT faculty of Colombo University, which is known as the UCSC, University of Colombo School of Computing. Even even in those faculties, some software engineers are passing out. Computer science engineers are passing out. And like, if you are real, to be honest, if you are Malay, if you are a guy who is really interested in like, we are doing about the computer-based stuff, coding and programming, and the best place to go is, uh, you can go to the information technology faculty, which is IT faculty of the Morocco University, and the IT faculty of the Colombo University, which is it is it is called as the UCSC University of Colombo School of Computing. So I'm I'm not talking about any private universities during my session because it is like not nice. Like I'm promoting a private university and I can be specific. I can just talk about one private university. But I'll just at the end of my speech I'll just talk about like an overall idea summary about private university degrees because to be honest and there are some good private university degrees in Sri Lanka. When under when, if you are a student who who did who 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 will be doing maths for A levels. So I'll talk about the IT field. And then at the end of these fields, I'll talking about I'll, I will talk about the future job market and I will talk about the salaries. So and there's another thing called uh, logistics. Logistics means one well, logistics comes with supply chain. Logistics come, uh, comes with uh, supply chain. Like when we take a company, supply chain is a main thing, a main part. Like production is one of the main parts of the company, and a supply chain is another main part of the company, which, which comes like distribution. Bring in the raw material, raw materials to the production, and after when the product is completing, the distribution part comes on the supply chain. So if you if there's a degree in Morocco University for transport and logistics management and logistics, logistics degrees are available in various private universities in Sri Lanka. And if you a guy or girl who did 
maths you can do logistics and you can get you can just get get to work with the supply chain in some supply chains of some renowned companies like universe john keels and you get the chance to do that and the, this is the basic idea and the basic division that you can follow in when talking about the degrees in state universities other than that mali there are uh, there are some degrees like applied science and then you can go applied sciences and even in those things computer science comes so i gave you a basic idea about quantity survey engineering then about the it field and the logistics and doing about physical when it comes to physical yeah, you can do you can get you can get a chemistry special you can get a physics special and you can get a math special and now i'll talk about the most interesting part about the salaries okay because at the end of the day we'll be happy like being happy is uh, directly proportional to my salary or how much money i have like not that money can buy happiness but if your salary is good you get your life is comfortable so like being comfortable is directly proportional with your salary if you if you are a computer science engineer or if you are doing if you are doing any job related to it field mali your starting salary will be more than 2 lakhs your starting salary will be more than 2 lakhs not only computer science engineers even though you you are like you did something like computer science or you did the, you you got the degree from the it faculty of university of colombo and still you will be paid a salary a basic salary a starting salary which is more than 2 lakhs that is quite awesome as a first salary because just go for a bank and ask his uh, what is his first salary and when comparing with that this is a good salary but when talking about the other engineering fields like mechanical engineering electrical mechanical engineering electrical engineering chemical engineering the salaries are quite low like it comes around 1 lakh not higher than the salaries of computer science engineers or computer scientists but still you can have good promotions if you work hard if you work hard in your respective office in your respective field you can get promotions and then you will be get getting paid And the most important thing as math students the thing we have to know that after getting graduated we are like the companies are coming and inviting us to come to their company and work with them that is the reputation a math student uh, any math student who have a local university degree has a such a reputation because they are just invited from the company we don't have to go to the company and ask for a job the company will call us okay we are we, we are giving you this this is your package we will be giving you a starting salary of this a basic salary of this and that, and so any student with the in the math section in the math in the math stream who has a local university degree will be called by the company so the best thing when talking about the future and talking about corona malle because we know when talking about the a company which, which has a production which, which runs which has factories which is based on their production so the thing about like a thing like corona happened like corona or something worse will just like as example i'm just talking and I, i'm i'm praying that that would happen as example i'm taking like just imagine like uh, such a thing a pandemic situation will come in 2022 so you can't open your factory when you can't open your factory there's no production when there's no production your company goes down and then the like the most of the employees will be will be kicked off because they don't have money to pay salaries but when it comes to id related job there's nothing like that because you can just work online most of the id related companies and most of the software engineers are working from home because if they have a good laptop if they have a good internet good stable internet connection they can still their still do their job so when talking about the future job market what what i suggest is the best thing is mainly the it field when talking about but i'll just talk about the passion also but i'm just talking about the salaries and when when talking about the situation of the country and situation of the world the best thing that like we as a field i can just uh, consider i just i can call the, the it field a field that like won't fall like because it, it can survive under any situation okay so and when talking about the salaries i talked about the quantity server and then i when when it comes to logistics and other things and we will get salaries around 50 to 1 lakh 50000 to 1 lakh and that is a good starting salary and now i'll talk about one well, some of the other questions that you raised up because the most of the things we think like api api to ekala de api to prashna thiyena api match karoth api to management side ekata yanna bari api to match karala kohomada ma match karoth mata me side ekata yanna bari api e wage prashna thiyena ehema ekak na 
trust me most of the ceo see most of the ceos in reputed companies have done maths have a degree in most of the ceos in the reputed companies have their degree from science faculties of local university so how can you do math and get into the management field you can get qualified by cim we call it cima or that you can get to the chartered you can do cim which which is made mainly based on marketing the what i suggest is a good thing is cim may cima if you get cima qualified if you if you do the if you complete the four like four exam for four, four, four levels of cima and if you get a cima qualified and if you have a degree from a local university like from either from the science faculty or of any faculty then you can get to the management management side you can be a management trainee and you can work as a management trainee and then you can get to the management side because as i mentioned most of the ceos most of the ceos are, have done maths or either bio and they are coming from science faculties they have done cima and they have done their mba and then they are getting qualified to the management side and they are going from that side that that is why i said that when you do maths there's there's a huge 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 number of paths that you can go now you you don't get limited to a field which is based on math you don't get limited to a field which is based on chemistry only you are not limited to a field which is based on physics okay you can get, you can do a, like we call them additional qualifications like cima and after working you can do an mba and you can get to the management side and perform well and one day you can be a ceo ceo means the chief, chief executive officer of the company like he's the boss of the company he's only he's he's all he's only just one down from the chairman other than that he's running the entire process he's running the entire operations of the company so you can get into that you can get into the management side and like imagine like you are a good debater imagine like you are a good debater and you are a good debater and you can talk well you are a good announcer like when when in grade 2 3 like you wanted to be a lawyer i wanted to be a lawyer i wanted to be the chief a cj the chief justice in sri lanka i want to be the attorney general of sri lanka like you had a dream like that when you was in grade 2 and 3 but when you, when you came to o levels like you realize that you are good in science you are good in maths you are good in maths so then what you do is uh, you are doing math so you like you think okay okay i did math you are a lawyer can i can be i can't be a lawyer there's nothing than that you are not thin like that that trust me in hiruni told in her introduction that i'm i'm a student from the law college law college is a separate body which is not under the control of the ugc so while going to university in the state university man you can get into the law college and getting into the law college you have to you have to sit for a law entrance exam which which consists of the iq paper a general knowledge paper and a language paper if you have done math your iq is already perfect so you can easily this score like around uh, or more than 45 out of 50 for the iq paper and you can get to the law college i only just do i i only i only just did two past papers of the law entrance exams be, before i went to the law and before i faced my my law entrance exam so you can still be a lawyer you can be, uh, in the law college you have to do exam for exams for three years and then you have to work a uh, previous period for six months and then you will be getting out as a lawyer so it will be cool right like you have a degree you are, you are an engineer and you are a lawyer or you are a you have a physics special you have a chemistry special and you are a lawyer and that is that is yeah how can i say that is cool that, that is awesome from my angle and there's another thing you can just combine things for example if you are doing process engineering if you are doing a process pro, process engineering pro, You, if you are, you have done CIMA, you can combine those two. Process engineering comes from math, CIMA, which is uh, which which covers management and accountancy. You can just combine those things. So what I have to tell you, Malle, if you are doing maths, the only thing you can't be is to be a doctor, a dentist, or a vet surgeon. From my angle, because you still you can be an engineer, you can be a lawyer, and you can be a biomedical. scientist you can be a biomedical researcher you can do you can be a biomedical engineer the only thing you only profession you can't do if you have done that is being a doctor that is that is that is quite understandable because when talking about the situation of sri lanka they close sitem so even though you have money you can't get a private mbbs so the only thing you can you can you have to be a doctor you have to do bio so that is the only only thing you you won't be able to do and what i suggest is with coming about the future future 
with the challenges having multi multi profession not multi professions or multi job roles then you will be the demand you can demand yourself they will call you for example if you are an engineer and if you have completed cim or cma and if you if you have the attorneys at law and then you when then they will call you to the company you can you can just work with the engineer inside you can you can just uh, have a, you can have a check in the legal you can have a check of the legal side of the company you can you can just have the management side of the company and that makes a ceo that makes a ceo so what that is why i said most of the ceos are the ones who come who did maths and come from the science faculties or the engineering faculties even Aravind Pereira. Aravind Pereira was the CEO of Sampat Bank. He did maths and he has a degree from the science faculty. If I'm correct, he had the he has a, his degree from University of Kolkata. So those those are the main areas I wanted to cover during my session and at the before ending up before wrapping up the things, I'll answer the questions. I got through the chat at the end of the end of after during the question and answer session. I'll answer all these questions. What I wanted to say is like some ask like if I'm doing math, if I'm doing maths, I can't do a sport. If I'm doing bio, I can't do a sport. I can't be a prefect. I can't work as a a top. I can't I can't work as a top 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 office bearer of a society in my school. Malli and Nangi, there's nothing like that. What I thoroughly believe, if you have the determination and the dedication to do something. then you can easily do it when you when you are when you are doing maths i said maths is hard yeah it is competitive i know it's hard because when when, when you are doing maths out of 80 80000 students only 2000 get selected to the engineering faculty so which means out of 40 students only one gets selected to the engineering faculty around around the country so it is hard so you have to work work hard in my life i have three principles i have three steps i follow to be success number one is having a target is having a target if i ask you what is the, uh, like do you like mawa yahana me wa wa etuma gan asa e wa etuma gan asa e kiyala huwa hama mu kiyala ou man asa e kiyala ha ba wa yahuwa etuma gan ne ko wage target ekak de kiyala hari man etuma gan ne ko wage target ekak de kiyala anna podda like you, you you are not sure about it no okay. i like it i have the desire but i'm not sure whether it is a it is one of the targets of mine have a solid target mali that is number 1 have a target that i'll be taking 3 years in my a levels in 2001 2002 and even like if you did you a, if you if you have all the w a levels like the target has gone but i'm talking about the students who have who who wants to who will be doing a levels in the future have a solid target and then have a plan to go to that target okay have a plan that then you have to go to that how how can you achieve that target have a plan and then the third one is the most important thing mali when executing this plan in order to achieve your target the main thing there are so many obstacles obstacles that will come to your life so you have to have a good dedication you have to have a good determination not to give up not to give up and continue stuff not to give up and continue stuff keep that in mind keep that in mind those three principles when even though even you meet me somewhere in the road like you say you can just you can just tell me i am going to i just going to me khata ve hua me a q a q me me points to nahi maar wakina man e vidir mage plan nak khata gata i have my target then i have a plan and and the determination and dedication in order to overcome the obstacles i face by executing my plan keep that in my mind and the thing like uh, like if you are doing a sport it is okay do with the sport get in 3 years and get in and doing a sport are, are like independent factors when you are doing this sport practice well and do it and when you are come, when, when you come to come to home when you are when you are studying and when you engage in studies do it do it by like giving the full concentration giving the full attention to that for your studies then do your studies then you can you can be successful in your sport and then you can be successful in your academic there's nothing like if if i'm doing maths i have to give up my sport if if i'm doing bio i have to give up my sport there's nothing like that what i believe is that like all all we have the all the students have the capacity to balance education and sports and i'm not going to deeply talk about how to do that but if you if you want to know that you, how to balance thing and if you if you, if you want to balance stuff but like so far you are you are not good in that you can just contact me in the future 
but i just wanted to to tell about this because like some of them has have asked that question so i think you are clear about the fields you can go when you do maths as i i'll just uh, give a summary you can do is a engineer in physical it quantity serving logistics and when you do cima you can get to the management side and uh, like you can you can do you can get to the law college and you can do attorneys you can be a lawyer and when um, when it comes to law one day you can be a judge if you have a good result for your a level so maths is the best field from my i'm not talking i'm not telling this because i did maths because i know there's how many how the the the, the So uh, the diversity of the paths and the careers you can just follow if you if you did maths. So I think uh, you are clear about uh, how to select your path if you have already done maths. So you will be doing maths. So if there's any question uh, about what I spoke today, you can just ask it during the question and answer session. So I would like to uh, once again thank the Rothbard Society of Excellence and the University Alumni for having me today. and all the interact clubs who have joined with this past finder for having me today so have a nice day thank you mantita for that very uh, interesting session i hope you all enjoy it just as much as i did um, if you have any questions i'll be reminding you again if you have any questions that you want to direct to mr mandap pandit ji you can send them to savit uh, or nikita in the zoom chat box and we will be addressing them during the question and answer session so um moving on to the second session we have a very inspiring young lady from um from university of colombo she uh, she is a phd student in immunoparasitology faculty of medicine University of Colombo she has completed her BSc honors in immunology and integrative molecular biology specialty in faculty of uh, faculty of science in University of Colombo as well as she has schooled in Muslim Ladies College Colombo for so over to you Hasna Riyal to address us thank you hiruni uh thank you hirni salim and the rafra clubs and the intra clubs for organizing this beautiful session am i audible audible to you all okay um so hi everyone i'm so excited and i feel privileged to talk to my youngsters and to tell them all the career paths and the higher education options they may choose after doing their levels in bioscience stream Uh, thank you, Mandapa, for your excellent presentation. Even without a PowerPoint, I think you did it really well. We are having same thoughts, so uh, during question and answers, I think we both can answer their questions. So, um, to be honest, uh, talking about higher education options and career paths in bioscience stream is a very challenging thing. because if you take the uh, ugc guide you will realize uh, most of the degrees are allocated for bioscience there is a uh, 25 or something degrees only in sri lanka and uh, e across the world the major disciplines are more than 50 so however to keep things short and sweet i'll be limiting my presentation for about 25 uh, job roles that you may find interesting and uh, in today's presentation i i didn't think of addressing everybody the people who may uh, fail in exams who may pass in exams but last moment i thought i will talk about it a little bit uh, so i made the first slide for them so let's move on to the presentation so uh, before going to my presentation can you all just tell me unmute your mics and tell me uh, what are the job roles you know after doing elevals in bioscience stream you can even use the chat box
okay um i don't get my chat box in a side uh salim do you see can you read out the options they have sent sorry i was on mute so they have mentioned uh, doctor research scientist biological science biologist bds microbiologist these are the options that's coming okay cool so it looks I like uh, some of you yeah. okay good Thanks. so it looks like some of you really know uh, most of the options because it's unlike the times that we did a levels uh, you all have this kind of webinars that, uh, thanks to the rock tractors and in tractors uh, we didn't have any kind of uh, career guidance like this to be honest so everybody's question when you do bioscience are you a doctor 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 <laughs> okay so i think some of you all are really frustrated let it be your neighbors teachers parents uh, family relations everybody be asking like doctor can i come here so feel like you have uh, lost in one subject the best thing is uh, don't give up just repeat it in the next attempt and get through all three subjects passed so um, when you get through your a levels it's a lifelong satisfaction you will have uh, feeling very confident about yourself that you got it through so for the people who pass their a levels that is also two categories the ones who marginally pass all three subjects uh, they may think uh, is this enough or should i attempt one more time so for them also my advice is go through my presentation today and see whether is there something that you like and you can do if not go for the next attempt and do it really well so if you have all a's and b's and really have got good results and is a scores um, there are some people they have got selected to medicine but they want colombo medicine nothing else so they, they redo the a levels just to get into colombo medicine so uh, there for them also my advice is go through today's presentation and see whether there's something that you really like okay uh, with that so everybody whether you are going to uh, really pass your exams or you you have the fear in failing your exams i tell all of you to go through this presentation and uh, develop your interest in one of these areas uh, i so i suggest you to take a small piece of paper and a pencil and write down at least five that grab your attention okay uh the first one medical officer <laughs> that you all know uh the dream of most of the people and it's really nice to be a medical officer uh the right turn is medical officer and uh, that that's what you usually call a doctor okay so the second one dentist uh there's a famous saying dostar barina da dostar hari venna kela so i suggest you being a dentist also really nice uh, dentist is a person who is uh, responsible for your entire uh, oral hygiene looking after your tooth cavities uh, uh, doing no uh, filling tooth filling and uh, removing unnecessary ones and everything so the third one is a veterinarian that also if you have pets you might have come across a veterinarian he's a person who is uh, experted in looking after uh, diseased and ill animals uh, he is the only person who has a uh, rights to uh, treat uh, an animal and to do surgery on them fourth one a nurse this is a um, umbrella term i would say uh, nurses are in different kinds uh, in other countries also uh, so in uh, western countries a nurse is like a nurse practitioner uh, one of the highly paid jobs actually uh, but in sri lanka nurse is a little uh, kind of a person who works with other uh, healthcare workers hand in hand to bring the best outcome to the patient um so i'll there are some uh, small changes being a nurse i'll tell you at the end about it fifth one a physiotherapist uh, to be uh, a physiotherapist also you may have come across uh, when you have a little uh, muscle injury or a, a skeletal uh, bone fracture you need a physiotherapist to take you through manual exercises uh, to give you a uh, advice and what you should do to get back to your normal uh, routine life 
six one speech therapist there was a question also uh, regarding this uh, speech therapist is the person who is skilled uh, in uh, vocals your communication skills uh, the way you swallow and things like that whatever related to this part uh, and if you have a child who is three years and not speaking proper words even uh, after the age of three years you definitely have to take that baby to a speech therapist right uh, so it's also a nice field uh, you can even go for higher studies and do more research on this uh, the seventh one medical officer so uh, for some uh, the only dream is uh, i want to be a doctor and i want to treat patients so if so you can be a medical officer not the conventional mbbs but then you can choose ayurveda medicine unani medicine or sita medicine one of these three and still become a doctor so in case if your family roots are coming from them or if you know somebody if you find really interested doing them i suggest you to go for it uh, don't worry and don't think those uh, is a scores are really low that means uh, it doesn't have a demand something like that this is your career your future you do the background search and uh, give it a try um, now with that i have finished the uh, medicine and health related professions now i'm coming a little bit lab band research based uh, professions the radiologist i think uh, that also very familiar with you the person uh, who is uh, experiencing uh, doing your CT scans, uh, X-rays, and then tomotherapy, uh, PET, all kind of scannings, and then uh, reading it, analyzing. A radiologist is well experienced in doing that, right? So a pharmacist. A pharmacist is someone that you usually see in a pharmacy. Um, in other countries, they usually prescribe the medicine also, but um, mostly in Sri Lanka, they give you the medicines according to your prescription. And then uh, they also tell you the right dosage to take and other kind of advices. Pharmacologist. So what is the difference between a, a pharmacist and a pharmacologist is a pharmacologist is the person behind the screen um, who actually worked to make all these medicines. So it's uh, mostly into the lab making innovations and you can even go for higher studies, uh, bigger pharmaceutical companies, you can join them. One of the highly paid jobs once again in the world. Lemon, nutritionist. Um, nutritionist, even if you take the UGC guide, you will see uh, there's a lot of degrees related to food science, food science and technology, food science and nutrition. In so many faculties, you will get this degree. So for everything, I have made an umbrella term called nutritionist just to give you a flavor of this uh, job role. Uh, nutrition is a little different from a dietitian because dietitian come into picture uh, like when you have a disease like diabetes or cholesterol to tell you what you should eat and what you should not eat. But a nutritionist uh, can uh, mm. be a role can be a role in uh, in any uh, sports team, a cadet uh, group like in forces and uh, tell you. Uh, manage your eating pattern and whatever to maintain your fitness levels in a group. So nutritionist also, I mean, you can go to Australia or any part of the world and be a professional nutritionist to a set of uh, individuals. So laboratory technician, that's also another broad term because uh, uh, here I have put all the people who usually work in a laboratory related to diagnostic test in one term. But this is again going to differ uh, based on your uh, educational levels, skills, experience and exposure. So you can be just a lab, uh, lab uh, assistant, lab manager, lab head, lab supervisor, anything. So. Um, uh, I'll tell you the difference. Uh, I can tell you now. So if you do a MLT, Medical Laboratory Technician Diploma, uh, you can definitely be one of the lab uh, technicians. But uh, Medical Laboratory Sciences is something different where you even can go for higher studies from that degree. So, and also you can become the lab head, lab uh, manager, those kind of similar posts. 
so a bioinformatician a bioinformatician is uh, someone who works with big data big data means your dna sequence data protein data uh, whatever uh, derived from your body to see whether there's any deletions mutations or any alterations that lead to a genetic disease so you definitely need to know a little bit of uh, computer languages as well to become a bioinformatician uh, in both so you'll be definitely working on a computer screen most probably uh, bioinformatician is another good area even in sri lanka because there are so many genetic labs coming in sri lanka uh, you will have a good market being a bioinformatician 14 is chemist um, so all what you learned in your a level chemistry if you go to do uh, biological sciences and then get converted into a chemistry special trust me you can swim in these chemistry lessons that you already learned you can go so deep analytical chemistry physical chemistry organic inorganic all this type and you have a very good market in other countries for uh, phds and higher studies if you, you do chemistry special uh, so think about it uh, if you don't like biology if you don't like physics but your interest was in chemistry then go ahead with this there's a lot of students who give up medicine and come to biological sciences columbia university of anything and go get into chemistry special because this is their passion okay um, now with that um uh, and also there's a uh, small branch coming out of chemist is computational chemist just like the uh, bioinformatician the computational chemist is someone who works with uh, computer languages and deal whatever the chemistry work in the uh, softwares like to see to see whether where a molecule go and binds to another so you can predict those models using a, a computer so you can become a computational chemist okay so uh, the next one now i have completed kind of a laboratory and uh, research uh, that kind of uh, occupations now i come to the field so field related uh, jo uh, jobs we'll see not really jobs these are actually uh, pretty much scientists in a way that they also work in labs and a lot of other things they, they also do the zoologist is someone who works with all the organisms in the animal kingdom to see their phylogeny evolution classification nomenclature whether there's any new species or whether there's any extinctions taking place so uh, don't think zoologist is somebody who is working with all these uh, animals uh, mice and things they also can uh, take whatever the biological material back to the lab and do uh, further testings on them to see their genetics uh, to see the relatedness to other animals and a lot of things uh, wildlife photographer so i think this is a branch of being a zoologist uh, when you have photography skills together with zoology knowledge you can become a wildlife photographer so that let's say you want to capture a leopard uh, so you know when, when when to capture where to capture how to capture and uh, a lot of skills like that so the captures you take let it be a photography or video you can sell it to cnn uh, uh, discovery all these uh, wildlife uh, channels and also you can become a freelancer even and you can do this as a uh, leisure time or as a part-time activity as well okay a botanist a botanist is somebody just like the zoologist who works with everything under the plant kingdom uh, you can also do other microorganisms also looking at their phylogeny evolution classification relatedness those kind of things right so uh, again you can take those materials to the lab and do a lot of uh, genetic experiments so botanist is not something that you always see in a herbarium um, right okay an environment list uh, again one of the highly uh, emerging and uh, 
a tension gaining area uh, when i say environmentalist don't think that is something limited to do with trees and trash right it is something to do with uh, they do address things like climatic change man made disasters what are man made disasters is like uh, flash floods uh, global warming uh, and uh, Uh, greenhouse gas effect those kind of things and uh, they also do a lot uh, in waste management also so whatever the company today uh, whatever the factory uh, in the corporate sector or even in the government sector there should be a environment list for each company to see how they have managed their production whether their production line is clean and pure and whether it generates too much of uh, uh, waste whether it's carbon neutral so for those things and environmentally is coming to the picture right okay agriculture officer again this is a very huge umbrella term because there's a degree called agriculture management given from peradeniya university uh, that is a bit more than agriculture it's like policy making uh, how you deal with the little uh, Uh, genetics and stuff so you can even go to higher education from that uh, other degrees which gives only agriculture will tell you how to deal with the uh, crops their improvements and not only that poultry is also included how to maintain the livestock uh, the all the cattle and uh, pig farms and uh, all the other meat productions are also included into this agriculture field 20th biomedical engineer one of the highly paid paid jobs in the world when your hand or leg is broken and when you want to make a artificial one you need a biomedical engineer biomedical engineer is someone who knows to fuse biology together with engineering right uh, the dialysis machine that uh, cleans your uh, blood for the renal failure kidney failure patients is an innovation of biomedical engineering uh, so people are trying to uh, create artificial heart artificial liver so that's all in biomedical engineering and people put uh, sensors and chips that detects your overall health in your body that's also biomedical engineering so give it a thought it's a nice field to go on medical writer so okay what is this okay now you know a lot about uh, medi uh, medicine and science uh, but there's a this is more like a journalist uh, you can write those things to a textbook uh, to a newspaper to a scientific magazine or as let's say a company is going to launch their uh, chemicals or a product and that needs to be included a data sheet so you can write it in a marketing way where a lot of people are attracted to buy that product so you have to write whatever the complex things in a lay language to for others you can even write textbooks for school kids by doing uh, by being a medical writer so give it give it a thought so scientist researcher this is a very huge umbrella term whatever i mentioned so far botany zoologist everything if you do further studies do research do phd and write good publications then you are a scientist scientist or researcher is somebody who brings new knowledge to the world every day okay so whenever you go up and up doing research remember this is just a broad term uh, for this uh, microbiologist cancer researcher uh, medical laboratory scientist there could be anything this is a very broad term i would say out of my 25 list this is the broadest because can't specify okay now uh, you being a university lecture uh, university student your passion was not to do any job but to come back to university and teach to students then yes you can become a university lecturer so whether it's science faculty or medical faculty in order to be a senior lecturer you definitely need your bachelor's and a phd right uh, but even with your bachelor's and 
be the masters you can become lecturers like probationary lecturer visiting lecturer assistant lecturer like that but to become a full time senior lecturer and go to professor level you need your bachelor's and the phd so i uh, don't think university lecturer is somebody like this in the picture just teaching in a board no not really they also do a lot of research whether it be science faculty or medical faculty almost 95 of the lecturers are involved in vigorous research and they bring new knowledge uh, and output from the university every day okay you want to teach you have the passion to teach but not for university students then you can become a graduate teacher and come to school level and teach that's also nice because out of the uh, teacher categories are the highest paid categories being a graduate teacher uh, so give it a thought you can definitely be become a graduate teacher final one entrepreneur so you must be thinking uh, how to do science and become an entrepreneur how can i be a businessman okay now you, you listen to me carefully this is like magic i'm telling you uh, now we being in the university there's lot of chemical stuffs coming machines equipment and now with this covid we need a lot of surgical masks gloves k95 mask okay so, uh, alcohol so everything so you can't just go and buy from the market there should be a proper agent to do that you call for quotations and then from the lowest you get those things so if you are one of the agents who bring down pcr machines all those reagents uh, then chemicals uh, there's a lot of uh, microscopic slides microscopes whatever the medical stethoscope whatever the equipment just imagine you your profit margin is really high you can uh, earn from one business itself more than a million so just give it a thought not only these consumer products also services like uh, how can a service be a business uh, okay like this if let's say you are having a shipping you are a shipping agent now i want to send some biological material to some other country or i want to receive a, a biological stuff from some other country to me then definitely you need the help of a shipping agent right so this shipping agent what he's going to do is for that they are going to charge from you let's uh, last year i sent uh, some uh, uh, chemicals not really chemicals parasite materials about 5 ml for 5 for that 5 ml i had to give 2 and a half lakhs for this shipping agent only so it's not my money anyways uh, so uh, why they charge that much because sending a biological material needs a lot of documentation approval insurance and if some spills have uh, occur it could be hazardous to the passengers or the people who handle it so we need to address all those problems and also these uh, biological uh, material need special conditions some stuff you need to send in uh, minus 20 freezers some stuff you need to send in liquid nitrogen some you need to send in plus 40 temperatures so with all that they are going to charge you so just think of it but don't think just because i say okay now i know how to be a entrepreneur just don't go and do it all of a sudden after your a levels just do go for higher studies then only you will find all the equipment or whatever services you can give back so you go for a bachelor's uh, go to a university setting or a hospital setting get to know all the insights and then become a entrepreneur okay so with that all my uh, 25 job roles come to an end i also want to tell you there's a lot of degrees that are offered uh, from the state universities regardless of your a level stream no matter whether you do commerce bio arts or whatever there's 29 degrees that is given regardless of your a level stream and these are some of them which really um, makes me um, interested those are architecture in university of murtu town and country planning information systems uh, speech and hearing sciences is given for all because it's something that you need a lot of soft skills so even art students can become a speech therapist okay uh, sports science and management t technology palm and latex technology you know that rubber up and iron is one of the uh, key incomes to our country so something to do with 
that and software engineering kalani and sabragamo is open for all the streams so you go through the ugc uh, handbook for the university entrance and make sure that you make the most of it and then what are the professional qualifications a bio student can do okay so these things make use of them when you are attending for your second shy or third shy when you are waiting for your university admission or as when you are doing your bachelor's during the weekends to so make use of it uh, you can do semi aka kind of management stuff you can do law uh, there was a friend of mine who got selected to law, law faculty kalambi university but then she later on Uh, understood that law can be done externally also some in some private sector so she uh, got back into molecular biology special degree okay so you can do law uh, you can do a uh, bit bachelor of information technology from columbia university external uh, you can do psychology certificate diploma or a degree depending on the money or your interest interest uh, trust me green psychology can give you a lot of soft skills uh, empathy and uh, understanding others uh, emotional management things like that you can also brush up your english you can do a pharmacy course and uh, while doing a profession you can open up a pharmacy in your area you can do a diploma in mlt so that you can work in any lab and also you uh, this i can uh, located at rajgiri uh, as under the government uh, partially uh you can do a chemistry degree or there are so many uh programs like that okay so this is the part to ugc handbook i'll put it in the chat box also for everybody make sure you spend at least one day and read from a to z and get yourself done and my email id is there don't hesitate to drop me an email i was in a huge 100 meter race with my presentation because i had a lot to cover so in if you want to know anything further just drop me an email even if i can't explain i'll make sure i refer you to somebody i know okay so with that i uh, finish my presentation powerpoint wise and there are some stuff i wanted to tell you so okay now the thing is uh, certain degrees are there they are like directly uh, one ended Uh, not degrees the roles now let's say you want to be a dentist if you want to be a dentist there's no two more pathways you definitely have to go to peradeniya dental surgery and get your uh, dental degree and become a dentist or else you have to go abroad but uh, let's say you want to become a cancer researcher there's more than one way like you can have your mbbs be a doctor and then uh, do md and other stuffs related to cancer work with cancer patients and then uh, do more research in cancer and become a ca call yourself a cancer researcher the other way is you are doing a bsc specialized in immunology or molecular biology and then you are doing your phd in uh, cancer related stuffs and then uh, by making a lot of publications and uh, innovations you can call yourself a cancer researcher so it's uh, very different and being a nurse also not re not only uh, not just one pathway you can go to a nursing school which gives you a diploma in nursing and become a nurse and then you can go to a state university uh, nursing faculty and get a bachelor's in nursing so uh, when you are choosing uh, which way you are going to be the person just consider the difference in qualification uh, what gives you uh, for migration for migration when it comes what gives you the best and then the salary scale Uh, the workload um, and then things like that and finally what gives you the best mental satisfaction at the end of the day it's your career dr kenekala passe munu munu ga ande pa mang hamada am leddu dakino hamada am tu wala kino mane pa vela mang hitwe wat nae hem job ekak kiyala and the other way also something ogolonte hitak nathi moka kari ekak tor gene kiyande pa mang hitwe wat nae mame ma gas gal libo puso ekak wada karai kiyala don't tell that um So, so Salim, can I have three minutes more? Uh, yes. Okay. 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 So, so with that, uh, what I want to tell you, okay. So, science students also, as Mandapa said, go into management fields when you do a lot of sports in university level and go for colors. Uh, you are usually recruited by these uh, multinational companies. 
definitely go and start your job straight away. I have seen a lot of boys who did basketball and things now in um, different uh, private companies. And then uh, not only that, while doing the BSc degree, a lot of my friends, uh, they ran writing administration exams, bank exams, custom exams. Uh, they do all that and they can actually go into different other fields also, right? And then you can become uh, a technical officer also just with your A-levels. It's a government job which helps the students with technical stuff in, a uni in the university. So just uh, try to find out how you can become a technical officer. Um, and some of you just after A-levels, even if you have the passion to uh, do higher studies, even if you have got selected to a state university, sometimes you might decide I can't do this because I have to take the family burden on to me because I need to earn. For them, my advice is uh, don't do so. Find a method that financially uh, puts you up. You can apply for Mahapola. You get 5,000 per month. Uh, and also additionally, in the same time, you can apply for other stuffs also. They also give you a monthly contribution. For, for an example, when I was an undergrad, I got 5,000 5, rupees Mahapola per month. Also, I had another scholarship scheme, which gave me rupees 2,500. So I'll get the 7,500 for my expenses. There are students who send even the Mahapola money to their parents. That's how they lived in hostels. So very terrible. Uh, so you do that uh, hard work and the end results will be really beautiful. And then if you ask my story, I was not really specified. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do medicine, medicine only. No, nothing like that. I was somebody when it comes to something and opportunity, I take it and make it better. So uh, let it be my uh, biological sciences. I got selected that. This is my first shy. I just went off. Okay, and then I got special into immunology. I did that after finishing my uh, bachelor's. Even before finishing, I got this PhD opportunity, and that was to do with parasites. I I don't think a lot of people will like it, but I started doing that, and I really love what I do. So my advice for you is, uh, do what you love, or else love what you do. Okay, uh, in the middle, don't have complaints like this is not I not what I wanted to do. That's all I had to say. Uh, see you all again in uh, question and answer session. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ms. Hasnarial, for that very interesting, very descriptive session. Thank you very much. Um, again, I would like to remind all of you, if you have any questions that you want to ask from Ms. Hasnarial, you can direct them in the Zoom chat. Um, direct them to Nikita or Savi in the Zoom chat, so they'll be get uh, directed to this area. Uh, before we move on to Q&A session, uh, let's take a minute and appreciate our official partners. So uh, introducing our official media partner, Chocolate, and our learning partner, iTutor SL, and our knowledge partner, Easy Academy. Um, so we appreciate you all for partnering with us. Thank you so much. Um, yes, a small notice before uh, we move on to the Q&A session. Uh, I hope you all know that we had a Pathfinder phase one, which was very successful. We had over 170 participants there. We discussed about the skills that we have to have in post-COVID era and uh, how to prepare for online interviews. So as an extension of the same project, we'll be giving an opportunity for everybody who have joined phase one as well as phase two to send your CVs to our Pathfinder organizers. So you can get a professional HR feedback on your CVs as well. Okay, thank you. Let's move on to the Q&A session. Um, okay. I think yes, the question is for Ms. Hasna. Um, 
what career paths do I have to choose if I choose um, biochemistry and agriculture? By doing biochemistry and agriculture, I think definitely uh, you can become an agriculture officer. I think you are eligible enough to uh, get into agriculture special degree. Uh, you can also do a chemistry special. Uh, you can do a lot of uh, biological sciences special degree, which doesn't have much of analytical stuff because with physics, it gives you this mathematical thinking. So if you have dropped uh, physics and taken over agriculture, uh, then uh, again, I uh, urge you to go through the UGC hand guys. So if you have specified agriculture and biology with chemistry for that three combinations, what you can do will be listed there. So agriculture you can definitely do you can do a uh, chemistry even at i can you can take the degree and go ahead thank you miss hasna the next question is for mr mandapa um as math students we do various kinds of innovations example trigonometric theories as a math student where can we share our innovations to the world uh, mandapa any thoughts the question is about that like, we have new innovations like in trigonometry. Yeah, I think the question is uh, asking uh, in A-level maths, we do a lot of theories, right? So after being, after doing that, how can we, um, if we are like continuing with those innovations, how to, how to, how to continue? Okay, uh, if I'm clear with the question, uh, this really, the Malyurang is asking about like, uh, if we just, if I found a new theorem or a new new thing in maths, how can I just go ahead with that? So you can do, as I said, if you are doing a math special, if you come to the engineering field or anything, like they are, as Hasna said, that they are, we can do research. So we can publish a research paper. Or like if, for example, think that you are finding a new, new theorem in trigonometry to find the area of a triangle, then you can just publish it as a as a research paper and then later you can get the patent for that patent mainly comes for new inventions but even for some theorems and theories new discoveries we get patent so you can just further work with that if you uh, come to university and do a math special and publish a research paper mainly that is the way Hiruni, you are not audible. Hello. No. Ah, yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Um, sorry for the inconvenience cause. Um, it says I want to get into medical faculty. I did my levels for third time, but I'm not sure if I'll make it. What should I do if I don't get selected? And uh, if I don't get selected, how can I enter medical school? Okay, so if your passion is entering medical school, and uh, as I told you, you can choose Ayurveda medicine, Yunani medicine, or Siddha medicine. But if you're not interested in any of these three, but still want to be a doctor, uh, there's one way you can go to Kotalawala Defense University in Ratnalanga, KDU. So if you go to there, show your results, your height, your build, your character and other personalities, uh, you can become a doctor by following the BBS degree at Kotalawala Medical Faculty. But then remember, you will end up being, a, being in forces, Army, Navy, Army, Navy or Air Force. So still, if you, uh, if you don't like that but your aim is to go to medical faculty remember uh, physiotherapy degree uh, at Colombo University is given under Colombo medical faculty right and speech therapy degree at Kalania University is given under medical faculty of Kalania so give it a thought uh, you can do speech therapy physiotherapy at medical faculties if you really want to do MBBS you can go to KDU uh, if you want to be a medical officer, you can choose Ayurveda, Yunani, or Siddha. Thank you, Ms. Hasna. Um, the next question is from Mandapa again. Um, is computer science degree and ICT degree 
Is it same thing or different? What are the paths for engineering under computer science? Because a lot of courses say that we need to have chemistry as well. What if we do if we don't have it? Yeah, okay, Hiruna, I also got the same question in my chat box. Like what he, uh, she was asking is if I, if I don't do chemistry, like in bioscience, we can skip physics and we can do agriculture. In the same in maths, we can skip chemistry and we can do ICT. But if you do the combination of combined maths, ICT and physics, you can't get into an engineering faculty. But still you can go to the uh, Morotua University IT faculty and the Colombo IT faculty, which means the UCSC. And as I mentioned, even from the IT, IT faculty and the uh, computer science faculty or the UCSC from Columbia University, you will be passing out as a software engineer or a computer science engineer. But like when it comes to engineering, you can't get into an engineering faculty, but like there's a like, there's a difference of a computer science engineer or a software engineer who is coming from an engineering faculty and a software a software engineer or a computer science engineer who is coming from an IT faculty. Like I that I I'm not going to explain or clarify the difference because, because like to know in order to understand the difference, you have to be familiar with some of the technical terms. Like, but there's a difference, but the, the, like anything, like the simple thing you can understand it. If you if you don't do chemistry and if you skip chemistry and do IT, you can't get into to any engineering faculty of Morotua, Pera, Ruhun, and Jabur. But uh, if you do ICT, you can still go to uh, Morotua University IT faculty and the Colombo IT faculty. And even if you do chemistry, you can still go to the IT faculty of Morotua and UCSC. Like doing the combination of math, physics, and chemistry, you can go to any faculty. But if you skip uh, chemistry and do IT, you can go to the you can't go to the engineering faculty. Um, thank you, Mansa. Uh, so the next question is again from biology. It says that um, in Sri Lanka, where can we work as a molecular biologist? Okay, so uh, molecular biology is uh, another. Actually, uh, more than a position, it's a, uh, what, uh, what do you call it? It's a, a tool. Molecular biology is a tool to a lot of pathways. So uh, you can actually do uh, further studies, PhDs on molecular biology, or else, as I told you, you can work in a lab. The, the, the girl who did a molecular biology special degree with me is the uh, molecular lab head. Uh, in one of the leading private hospitals. So also there's this uh, genomic labs coming up. You can work there. And also wherever uh, in biotechnological things, uh, where uh, PCRs, so uh, all the PCRs these days, COVID related stuff are carried by molecular biologists. And also um, when it comes to uh, agriculture, let's say uh, tea, uh, tea research institute, Rice Research Institute, for all that, when you go to research and uh, deep levels of molecular stuffs with genes, you definitely uh, need to have a molecular biologist. Thank you, Ms. Katna. Again, to Mr. Pandit, uh, under Pandit again, you are having your sessions asking, um, can you explain about architect and interior designing, which one is better? We've been talking about architecture. That's good. Like the question was raised because I couldn't touch about architecture during my lecture. Like doing maths is like if if I want to do architecture, the only government university with which uh, which offers the architecture degree is University of Morotua. There's a separate architecture faculty, but uh, doing maths is not a not a must to get into the architecture faculty. Any any stream, if you if you have done A levels in bio in Maths, in commerce, in technical, tech, or even in arts, you can get into the architecture faculty. But the architecture faculty has a placement test. We call it as the aptitude test. First, you have to like what I mentioned in the law entrance exam, like a similar exam. A similar exam, you have to like they are they are just uh, testing your creativity. And when it comes to architecture, they are mainly uh, three degree, four degrees. Uh, the main one is uh, general architecture. It is a five-year degree. As I know, it is the only five-year degree in a state university uh, other than MBBS, um, general architecture. And then we have landscape architecture. And what the question was asking about interior design and interior design comes under, like we call it uh, design. Like in, inside the university, we call them as design students. 
like fashion designing and interior designing and the other one is town and country planning so uh, like i can't just specifically say that what is good like if you want if you like to do uh, like house planning houses drawing houses drawing plans and architecture is good if, if that is your passion and if you want to do it doing architecture is good like interior designing is not not designing the entire house we are designing the in, the inner part that, that, that is the meaning of interior for example like even interior designing covers like designing inside of inside a car not only a house like like the way the, how to uh, how to design a office a, a house a car those things come under interior design so what i want to say is like we can't just say this is good like we can i can't say being a doctor is good that rather than being an engineer that is the passion so if you want to uh, want to draw plans and build a house build a like a plan house design house you should be a, an architect and but if you want to design the interior or the inner side of a house of a or a car of an or any close space you want to be uh, you should be an interior design it depends on your passion yeah okay got this question repeatedly even uh, before the sessions uh, how to do astronomy things related to bioscience can i answer that question yeah okay uh, so everybody wants to know how to do astronomical things related to bioscience my god i was shocked with question you are asking like aha sai pola vai ekata sambandha karala so i did some research on this yes you can you if you have passion in astronomy and also if you are a bio student how to get this done is you come to a normal uh, bsc degree uh, you can go to specializations like uh, zoologist or a botanist or a molecular biology that's okay and there's astronomy societies also inside the university be one of them and then make sure your last six month research for the bachelors you uh, get someone from arthur c clark uh, center or somebody who is in the astronomy field to get your last six months research so from that you can kind of orientate your passion and future directions into astronomy for, from biology and later on you can become an astrobiologist where you try to find whether there is a life above our planet earth whether there is life in mars or moon or anything okay so you can orientate your research After the question, um, to you again, I would like to know about studies on child psychology and about the future market of it, and as well as uh, where can you learn speech therapy? A uh, second one, what did you ask? Child psychology. And what about the future market of it? Okay, uh, child psychology is not something uh, because there's a lot of people saying I'm a child psychologist. But then, if you come to medical faculty after being a doctor, if you go into this psychology st stream, and then uh, from that, if you specialize in uh, child psychology, you are a you can call yourself a consultant uh, in. child psychology so that with that you can uh, work and then there's a huge market you can consult patients uh, i think there are a few places also with the psychology degree that gives you a specialization into child psychology you can take that also you can definitely i think uh, with proper uh, permissions from relevant authorities you can have your own center which uh, functions as a child psychology center you can what was the other one 
Yeah, you can. Speech therapy, right? Yeah, you okay. can. A speech speech and hearing sciences degree is exclusively from university of kalania faculty of medicine uh, and all four streams uh, students are taken depending on your subject combinations again i invite you to go through the ugc handbook it says how you can get selected to speech and hearing sciences degree thank you Ms. Hasna. the next question is to mr mantika is it worth doing uh, mechatronics engineering um, instead of mechanical or electronics? Yeah, even I'm doing mechatronics engineering. Like it is a, a new engineering field in Sri Lanka because it is a combination of mecha mechanical and electronics. I'll just uh, talk about why, why I wanted to select me doing mechatronics. The main reason is that uh, we're talking about any mechanical equipment or any mechanical, like take example as a car. We consider car as a, one of the mechanical designs, but when, when it comes to car in the 21st century, there are so many automated parts, started from the TV, from the like from the air conditioning, and there are so many automated parts. And even in like, now, we, even talking about new designs, any design is not 100% mechanical. There is an automated part, or the, we call it as the uh, electronics part. So we can work with such things, especially with uh, automation, when it comes to mechatronics. So. Like, as I said before, I can't say that doing mechanical or doing mechatronics is uh, better than this. Because like, if you have a passion to work with cars, like if you have an engine, it's good, it's good to do mechanical engineering. But if you, if you, if you like to do mechanical engineering, but you, have, you, you like to do computer science or electronics, so you can just do mechatronics because mechatronics is a combination of uh, computer science engineering, uh, electronics and and uh, mechanical engineering and here only i just want to uh, add one thing to my previous answer like one one ask about uh, the combination of doing combined maths ict and physics and i just got the message that there's a department in the jayawardenepur university physical science faculty the computer science department and a special intake is taken of 50 students who have done the, who who is with the combination of uh, uh, maths, physics, and I ICT. So it's it's the computer science department, which means you can you can get into the IT field. Thank you, Mr. Mandipla. Uh, next question is from Ms. Hasna again. How about being an astro doctor? I know it's obviously hard. But how can I uh, how can a Sri Lankan bio student work at NASA? I uh, replied to that message personally, so to tell everybody also broadly, orientate your research. Do a basic degree in biology in the last few six months when you get to do your research for everything. For all your weird uh, and beautiful uh, ideas in between different parts, uh, which are against the norms, but, but my advice is do a basic BSc degree. Uh, you can uh, specialize if it is not that much harming to your passion. Take the benefit of this last six month research. Tell your supervisor, the lecturer in your faculty, sir, Mata Mihima Asa Vak Diyanava, Asa Vada Akhnatang, Astrobiology, Stevage Mukha Karigulange, Tiyana Asa Vakiyan. Right? Let it be astrology or you say mice related stuff. Tell that. So that your lecturer will find you an external supervisor who is in that field and you can do a research, publish a small, at least an abstract, and then based on that. Uh, qualification you show your last six month research to a person in some other country uh, i did my last six month research in this please take me to do a phd on this killer you write to them do it and then done you are an expert in that field you can do your own research and uh, become an astro doctor or whatever Thank you so much, Mr. Uh, the next question is for Mr. Um, again. Um, can you explain about Earth Resource, Resources Engineering, Textile and Clothing Technology? Yeah, okay. Uh, when it comes to uh, 
Trizos engineer me call it as EM and textile engineer me call it as TA. I'll just talk about the history of these two fields because, as you know, when we when we go to any university engineering faculty, more to a oh like more to a pair or who na like. Even though I have, I, I am the island first. I can't go to the university and and select the field of engineering which I like to do. It is it, in more to a like after the first semester exam, considering our GPA, we are we are given the chance to select our the field I like. And in para then year after two semesters, which means after the first year, uh, considering the G, GPA, they are given the chance to select the field of engineering like they like. So, but in uh, in the 1990s. Uh, this was engineering and textile engineering were, were also under the engineering faculty. Still, they are under the engineering faculty. But even those courses, have, we 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 have to we had to select at those courses considering our first semester GPA. But in the in the uh, mid 2010s, like around 2006 and 2007, they were separated. And the, so we can apply directly to the uh, this was engineering and the textile engineering fac uh, departments. Uh, Based on our, a well based on our A level result. So like we, they, they we don't need to have a first semester good GPA to get into textile or engineering. That is how to get into uh, resource engineering and textile engineering. What comes under textile engineering? For example, like uh, like when think when thinking about any material, any fabric, there are patterns. And so like textile engineer engineers are mainly they work in uh, we we call them R and D like research and. Developing sections like they they come up with new patterns like with like for example with the proof skins and new patterns nanotechnology they they combine some technologies and fabric and when it comes to earth science engineering like they like for example the science engineering students from my batch they went intern in like you know the bogal pattern bogal pattern like minimum 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 like minimum minimum you know yeah. And they do they even intern in Bogal Pathan and like there are some experiments and research searches we can do in mines. So such things are uh, such things are done un under the uh, supervision supervision of earth resources engineers. And when it comes to construction field, if we have to do a dynamite blast, for example, if we if we, if you want to blast a building, uh, uh, put a building down like we call it as a dynamite blast, we need the approval of a chartered earth resources engineer in order to in, in in order to do that blast so even though there are many fields of engineering the approval of uh, approval of a earth resource engineer is a must to do such a uh, such a blast yeah yeah is must to do such a blast yeah that's right okay but that's something um, i wanted to add can you explain about Fast fashion designing as well because it's related to textile. That is also one of the fashion, questions. Fashion, yeah, yeah. Fashion designing is uh, like it's like architecture. Max Kerala fashion designing karanam ka nahe like any any stream any student from a student from any stream can do fashion designing. Like if we have even in that fashion designing there's aptitude test which means entrance test. Fashion design in India, living up there. Back in the normal way, models like fashion design, various fashions coming up day by day. You know, the fashion designers. So fashion designers are not working with technology. They are they are just coming up with new designs and new ideas. Tech tech textile engineers are coming like they combine technology into the fabric and to this uh, what we call this uh, fab fabric yeah, fabric industry and the uh, like design they they combine technology but fashion designers doesn't don't work with technology they come up with new ideas thank you very much mr mandapa so the next question is for ms hasnaya um somebody wants to know what are the ethics score marks accepted for universities having medical faculty In school, in digits, and um, what are the private degrees for science approved in Sri Lanka? Okay, uh, medical faculty UGC is a score cutoffs are uh, released every year. You can go through that and see, but uh, if it is Colombo, you need at least one point nine zero or a two point zero. Depends every year it changes with the demand and the uh, way you have performed. So usually you need above two, and uh, when you go far away, uh, when the area is rural and when the demand is low, uh, your cutoffs actually lowers. So there's a 
mechanism how you calculate it on merit basis and district basis you call it i advise you to go through a ugc cutoff list that is also freely available in the ugc website so that you will know what kind of a competency uh, you should have uh, when you score for uh, these stuffs and uh, so you all know there's no uh, mbbs degrees given in any private institutes in sri lanka but then there's bsc degrees given in private institutes but again as mandapa told i can't mention any institute a uh, private institute because i can't market anything here but i would like to tell you uh, there's actually a uh, good places which gives you a uh, bsc degrees um, and also a uh, biomedical sciences related degrees uh, do a background research write to me personally i can tell you personally these stuffs are reliable uh, and then uh, if, if somebody uh, is not selected into state university remember you can go to open university and do all sort of uh, all these good degrees uh, at open university uh, maybe for a very nominal charge i think uh, give it a try and uh, can i answer one question here only because uh, it came repeatedly uh, so people want to know the scope in biotechnology so they are asking what is biotechnology so biotechnology is uh, whatever the biological world you see it as a technology and you incorporate it to something else now for an example when a ship goes and when oil spills take place into the ocean uh, you put certain kind of bacteria into that oil spills in the sea which actually eats up those uh, fuel and clear the sea okay so that is biotechnology and uh, you have rice but then you want it to be so nutritious let's say the whole african continent is suffering from malnutrition so you want to send them rice or you want to uh, cultivate rice in that area which gives lot of nutrition in just one plate of rice so uh, you can think of cultivating cultivating golden rice so it's not just rice it's uh, enriched in vitamin a and maybe uh, fats and lipids and things so for that you need genetic engineering so biotechnology is a pathway which does these kind of uh, genetic alterations into the uh, organism for the betterment of the world how about being an astro doctor if you are a mathematics student and you are can you um tell me how can a sri lankan math student work at nasa sri lankan math student work at nasa i, I actually have a friend uh, who is very interested in astronomy and then who wrote to nasa and actually got replies from them i uh, tell you again have the passion in astronomy i and he also he is a math student he is from columbia university science faculty write to me uh, personally i will direct you to my friend uh, my email is up in the chat box please send me a message i'm very happy and he is also happy uh, to help you out because all this astrobiology part yesterday i asked from him only um mr mandipa do you have anything to add to the same question Okay, no, I mean, talk, yeah, yeah, I mean, talking about working at NASA, even when I was in grade two, I wanted to be an astronaut, not an astronomer, an astronaut. <laughs> so, but it's really hard to get into NASA, but there are so many Sri Lankans working in NASA. It's really hard, but there are so many Sri Lankans working in NASA. I think if you can remember, uh, like, if I'm correct, the name is Ma either Pathfinder or Mars Polar Orbiter. it was a, i can't remember the name actually it is the pathfinder or mars polar orbiter uh, like a, a mission uh, uh, what do you call uh, like it was landed in mars and the camera 
of that particular not a rocket the system was designed by one of the sri lankan professor sarad gunapal is from the university of colombo and he is an old nalambian so like there are, there are so many sri lankans working in nasal and as hasna said if you have the passion you can go there like after getting a good good uh, good bsc bachelor's degree from here you can apply for higher studies in usa and when if you go to usa and just you can just find the way and what i believe is if you have the passion you can find how to go into nasa like as hasna said even i wrote to nasa and i got replies and i got photos even like then your dream began i am body gala and then nasa tippa then you gonna then now things have changed but if you have the passion you still can go it's really cool to get into nasa last question of the Q&A session is for Mr. Mandapa. Yes, uh, can, can, um, can a math student be a psychologist after doing maths? And what is the procedure for that? Yeah, being a psychologist, if you want to be a psycho uh, qualified psychologist, uh, as I know, if, uh, Hasna, correct me if I'm wrong, as I know, there are psychological degrees and diplomas you can follow and courses. as i know like when it comes to about counseling courses so it also it is not also dependent of the a level stream you have followed like like for example if i want to be a counselor if i want to be a psychologist you can just go in that way after getting a bsc degree without even getting a bsc degree you can go in that way you can follow a psychological degree you can follow a psychological diploma and then you can go in, uh, go in that part so you can you can end up being a psychologist uh, so and one more thing to add is uh, because uh, i got a question in this uh, private chat box because as i mentioned that i am also doing that and is at the law college and uh, some of them ask you how can i do a degree in a state university and uh, do at any that law in law college as i mentioned before the law college does not come under the ugc it is not a university it is a professional body which is controlled under the which is controlled by the uh, legal we call it legal council so like you don't have to have her mine's watch to in order to follow the both uh, the degree any degree you are doing and doing attorneys at law the thing is like you have to you have to work hard when uh, for example i have had exams monday i have engineering exam tuesday i have the law exam wednesday i have engineering exam thursday i have the law exam like i have had like several months i have passed like that i know that is sick but what i believe is i have to work this hard until uh, 28 Like by 28, it is only by 28. I, but I believe if you, by 28, if you work until 28, if you work really hard, after 28, you you just have to you have to just get the harvest. That is what I believe. So you don't have to have how many is watched to. You don't have to be in the same place in the in the same time in the local agency. You know, so you have to just to manage lectures and manage practicals and go to them and do the exams really well. And yeah, that that is I just want to talk about because I got that question personally. Thank you very much. Um, so with this, we'll be ending our Q and A session. We'll be coming back to him. Um, yes. Yeah. Uh, so I would like to tell you there are so many uh, questions in the chat box. Can't uh, answer to all of them. So uh, please write to myself or Mandapa uh, to our emails regarding all your questions. We'll be definitely replying you at least uh, after two three days. Yes, here. Thank you very much, Hasna, for that kind gesture. So, um, before we wrap up the whole thing, uh, I would uh, kindly request our guest speakers to give a final message to all the participants. Um, Hasna, can you go first? I didn't get you. What? I was not listening. A final message to all our participants. Okay. Okay. So. Um... First, I would like to thank the uh, Intrac Clubs and the Rotrac Club of University of Nyan Excellence for organizing this again. I, as I said, ten years before, uh, nine years before when I did A levels, we didn't have this kind of career guidances. So you uh, students are really lucky to have these people uh, taking you all forward in a, a beautiful direction. And I'm really interested, and I'm shocked to see you all asking different. questions regarding your career which i didn't even expect okay so those days it was just to pass the exams and to do whatever now but now the students are really specific in what they are doing 
I think the students, uh, students of the millennium, I would say, we are in 90s. So really happy for you all. Uh, don't give up. Uh, don't fake with your qualifications, I would say. Uh, always try to find the path is difficult, but then it will definitely lead you to a beautiful destination. So uh, don't uh, find shortcuts because there's no shortcuts to success. I'm not asking you to do hard work with a lot of sweat and dirt, but do smart work, genuine work. You will find, be in a beautiful place one day, hopefully. Thank you very much again. So Mr. Mandakar, do you have any um, last thoughts? Okay, I'll just uh, take uh, two minutes. What I want to take, uh, tell you, Nanjima, leave me. Mainly what I want to tell you, because some, somebody asked, like, uh, I, if, uh, I, if I'm correct, if I remember, Hasna addressed the question about doing second shy or a third shy. And, like, some, some was asking, asking about these financial problems. But I, I'll just tell you one example from one of the brothers from my senior batch. You know, Sandy Prashant, you know, me. Mommy is English, and mommy is English, and because they are English, they are English, and they are ूशन हम महानुना इंटरव्यूज ඒවිස් ගියලා ඒක වල අපි ජොබ් ජර්නි කතා කරන්න ආයාම ඒ ජොබ් එක ගත්තා ෆොර් ස්ට්‍රයි සැලරි ඔෆ් 120000. ඒතර එයාට තිබ්බ හාඩ්ෂිප්ස් කල්පනා කරලා බලන්න ඒවත් එක්ක කම්පයන් මගේ ජීවිතය කොහේ හරි වැටුණොත් ඔය මං කිව්වේ දෙන්න කල්පනා කරලා බලන්න එයාට විතර ප්‍රශ්න තිබ්බ එහෙනම් මට මේක කරගන්න පුළුවන් කියලා. එහෙනම් ඒක හැම තිස්සෙම හිතන්න මොන ඔබ්ස්ටකල් එක ආවත් ඒක අතරින්න එපා ලයික් වඩ ඇයි වඩ ඇයි ෆර්ම්ලි බිලීව් වි ඉෆ් යු හැව් අ ටාගට් ඇන්ඩ් ඉෆ් යු හැව් අ ප්ලෑන් ටු ඉන් ඕඩර් ටු අචීව් ද ටාගට් ලයික් ඒ කියන්නේ මං කියන ප්ලෑන් එකක් උයි ටාගට් එක තියෙන කෙනෙක් වුණේ අපි කියන ගෙදරක් තියෙන මිනිස්සු එක්කයි ගෙදර තියෙන මිනිස්සු එක්ක වතක් වත් වට්ටන්න බෑ. කියන්නේ එයා කොච්චර කට්ටිය වත්තල කොච්චර එයා වෙන ඉන්නෝ කරලා එයා මොනවා වුණත් යාර ගෙදර ඇවිල්ලා ඉන්න පුළුවන්. ඒ කියන්නේ ගෙදර තියෙන මිනිස්සු එක්ක වත්තන්න බෑ. ඒ වගේ තමයි what i believe is if you have a target and if you have a good plan in order to achieve the target ඔය වත්තන කාටවත් බෑ. ඒක තමයි මම අන්තිමට ගිය සිංහලෙන් කිව්වේ. මොකද මට හිතෙනවා ඉතින් මේ කිව්ව ඔක්කොම ටිකත් එක්ක ඕක ඔළුවට දාගන්න. ඒතකොට මේක පොඩ්ඩක් මොඩිවේෂන් එකක් දාගන්න. මං කිව්ව කතා දෙක අර දැන් හස්නා and හස්නායි ඊට පස්සේ මායි ඒ යක කතා කරපු වින්නයි යා. අනේ අනිත් අක්කි මම හිතන්නේ ඔයගලන්ට මේ හොඳට මේව ගැනක් ඔයගලන් පාස් ගන්න ඔයගලන්ට කියන්න ඇති. ඒකත් එක්ක මේ මොඩිවේෂන් එක හදා ගන්න. සෙකන්ඩ් ෂයි නෙමෙයි. තර්ඩ් ෂයි කරත් මං කියන දෙයක් කියන්න. ඩිග්‍රී එකේ ඉට් ඉස් ඔන්ලි මෙන්ෂන් වෙදර් ඉට් ඉස් අ ෆස්ට් ක්ලාස් අ සෙකන්ඩ් ක්ලාස්. ඉට් ඉස් නොට් මෙන්ෂන් වෙදර් යු කේම් ටු ද යුනිවර්සිටි ෆ්‍රොම් ද ෆස්ට් ෂයි ෆ්‍රොම් ද සෙකන්ඩ් ෂයි ෆ්‍රොම් ද තර්ඩ් ෂයි ඔය ඉවන් දෝ යු ස්කිප් ද ෂයි ඇන් යු කේම් ඉන් ද ෆෝර්ත් ඉයර්. දේ ආර් නොට් මෙන්ෂන් ඉන් දැට් ඉන් ද යු ඉන් ද ඇට් ද එන්ඩ් ඔෆ් යුවර් ඩිග්‍රී ඔර් ඉන් යුවර් ට්‍රාන්ස්ක්‍රිප්ට්. They are only mentioning whether you have a first class or a second half. So, second shy, yavad, first shy, yavad, dig, 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 my doctor, doctor, my engineer, engineer, my. Because I am thinking about it. So, man, if I want to, ah, if I want to run, I mean, I am not going to do anything. So, you were there yesterday's talk, Mr. Ovin. Are you writing a talk or anything? Ah, no, sorry, sorry, I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't. Okay, so he he has started off with maths, A levels. So, ma maths valing A level patangat takena 
අන්තිම මාස 6 කදී තමයි කොමර්ස් වලට ස්ට්‍රීම් එක වෙනස් කරලා ආයිලන්ඩ් රැන්ක් එකක් දාලා අද වෙද්දී පේරාදෙණිය ලෙක්චරර් කෙනෙක් වෙලා ඉන්නේ සෝ ඇස් ඇයි ටෝල්ඩ් යු බුරුවට මැත් සයන්ස් කරන්න එපා මට මතකයි මගේ යාළුවෙක් ඉස්කෝලේ කාලෙදි කිව්වා මචන් මැත් සයන්ස් කරලා එෆ් තුනක් ගත්තත් නම්බුයි කියලා වට ජෝක් එතකොට එයා ඇවිල්ලා තියෙනම ෆේල් වෙන්න ෆේල් වෙන එකේ නම්බුකාර විදිහට ෆේල් වෙන්න තමයි එයා මැත්ස් හරි සයන්ස් හරි ඇවිල්ලා තියෙන්නේ ඩෝන්ට් ඩූ දිස් සිලි ජෝක් ෆේල් වෙන එකේ කිසිම නම්බුවක් නැහැ ඇත්තට ඔයගොල්ලෝ මං කිව්වා වගේ ඒ ලෙවල් පාස් වුණොත් මොකක් හරි සබ්ජෙක්ට් තුනක් ඔයගලන් හිතට වදින එකක් කරලා දැට් සොලිඩ් බේස් ඉස් දෙයර් ත්‍රූ අවුට් යුවර් ලයිෆ් සෝ ඉට්ස් යු ආර් නොට් ලේට් ඩෝන්ට් වරි අබවුට් යුවර් ෆැමිලි ඔර් එනිබඩි හු ඉස් ලුකින් ඇට් යු ජස්ට් චේන්ජ් යුවර් ස්ට්‍රීම් ඉෆ් යු ඩෝන්ට් ගෙට් මැත්ස් ඇන්ඩ් කෙමිස්ට්‍රි ඇට් ඕල් බිකොස් ඔයගලෝ දැන් අර කට්ටිය බලන් ඉන්නවනේ අල්ලපු ගෙදර ආන්ටි බලන් ඉන්නවනේ මම මැත්ස් කරනවා සයන්ස් කරනවා කියලා උතරින් කරන්න පටන් ගන්න බොරුව ඔයගලෝ දිගටම කරගෙන යනවා. ඒක ඔයගලෝ කොලිෆිකේෂන්ස් ගන්න ෆේක් කරනවා. සෝ ඩෝන්ට් ඩූ දැට්. දෙන් ඔන්ලි යු ෆෝල් ඉන්ටු අ ABCD කැම්පස්, EFGH කැම්පස්, PQRS කැම්පස් කියන මොකක් හරි ඔය කැම්පස් එකට ගිහිල්ලා යු ට්‍රයි ටු ගෙට් සම් කොලිෆිකේෂන් ඊවන් ආෆ්ටර් ෆේලින් exams so just change venasata bay wenne pa venasak me avuruddaka ogolo stream ekak maaru karala karana avuruddu ogolange life long ogolanta wedagat wenna puluwa thank you very much uh, mr yeah and mr mandas pandit here so very um, very uh, motivational inspiring and um, very uh, descriptive uh, both and for answering all the questions and uh, providing very complete answers um so thank you for the uh, participants as well so sending us questions we know that we haven't answered all the questions but that um, we, according to the time that we had we tried our best um moving on to um the word of thanks finally i would invite prospector ashwini ratnayaka from prospect hub of excellence You the vote of Over to you, Ashini. Thank you, Lord Director Hironik. It is my privilege to have been asked to propose the vote of thanks on behalf of the Interact Clubs and Road Track Clubs. Let me express my gratitude for your kind participation for the Project Pathfinder. I would especially like to thank the panelists of the evening, Mr. Mandaba Pandita K and Hasna Riyal for being part of the project and providing guidance and educating students to make a very crucial career decision in their lives also i would like to take this as an opportunity to thank all the members of interact and road track clubs who are sticking with us through thick thick and thin to make the project a success last but not least a big thank goes to all the participants of the webinar thank you stay safe thank you ashwini uh let's wrap up the part finder day two it was very successful uh thank you for our speech uh speakers as well as our participants we are blessed to have you all time we fill the feedback form uh which we have shared in the chat box as well so thank you and stay safe and have a good night